brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Hi, um, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, so my in-laws loaned us forty thousand dollars last year um, uh, at four point five percent interest rate for five years. Oh my um, gosh. So we could buy a house on an assumption, a loan assumption. Oh lord. Um, and that loan assumption. Um, came at a rate of 3.125%, so we couldn't let that pass by. So instead of going to the bank to get 40000 we um, loaned it from that while they offered to give it to, to, to loan it to us, um, yes. and we took them up on that offer. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had a baby in December, um, and so now I'm staying at home. But before I, I, I had the baby and I'm staying home now, we got that loan down to twenty two thousand four hundred and one dollars, mm-hmm. um, because we, we're kind of following the baby steps where we're trying to. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, we're just so now I'm I'm not working. Um, my husband is a little iffy about going under ten thousand dollars because currently we have twenty five thousand dollars in savings, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I'm kind of suggesting, oh, should I, should we just wipe out the loan with them? What and does he make? Save up. He makes seventy six thousand dollars a year. Mm-hmm. Um, so, are you yeah. living on a written budget with every do- with the every dollar app spreadsheet and all? Okay, cool. Yeah, well, so you said- very much in control of every dollar. And very much. We we know where every single penny goes. Okay. So you said you're trying to follow the baby steps, right? So yeah. Well, wait a <laughs> I minute. Telling my husband. I mean, he he wants he he's just nervous about going under ten thousand dollars. Yeah, but the if ba- any emergency comes. Yeah, it's his he's parents. Nervous about it. He yes, probably feels parents. comfortable yeah. because it's they're his parents. People. It doesn't matter. It they're doesn't matter. People. It doesn't matter. You're feeling yeah. it, and you're feeling it for good I reason. Am. For two reasons: a, yeah. it's debt, and your body's going to feel debt, and then two. It's debt that you owe to in-laws. Like, let's not make this. Thanksgiving thing. dinner tastes different when you eat with your master and the borrower is mm. slave to the lender. I lender. Know that's right. Yeah. Let's not make a complex situation more complex by adding debt to it, right? So, yeah, if you yeah. guys have agreed this is the financial plan that we're following, then I'd hold him to that. And I'd say, listen, if we said we're following in the baby steps, we need to pay off this debt and then rebuild our savings. That's what the steps say. That's what the plan is. We said we are following that. And... I don't feel comfortable with this debt as your wife. I don't feel comfortable owing your parents. And if for no other reason, this should matter because of that. Right. Yeah, I've, I've told him that. And he, and he definitely understands. Um, they're amazing people. Um, I, this, know, we're not questioning their character. Yeah. You don't need to tell me three times they're amazing people. This was a stupid, <laughs> butt idea and y'all need to clean it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was dumb. You yeah. shouldn't have done it. But you did it, That's and now true. you have the opportunity to clean it up. Don't do it again. I've heard you call so many people dumb that now I'm appreciating that I've gotten to that level. <laughs> You're part <laughs> of the club. I didn't say, I did not say you are dumb. I said the idea and what you did was there dumb. There's a difference. Yeah. yeah I am not dumb, and I have done some dumb butt things in my life. <laughs> Quote, dumb butt decision. That's what it is. I love it. I have it. done it. I have done it. So you guys clean this up. Get it out of your life. You can feel it. Yeah. And you can. It, w- this is not an indictment of saying your parents are bad. Our parent laws are bad people. They're wonderful people. They were trying to be helpful. Yeah. They were helpful in a bad way, but they were helpful. They're trying to be sweet. They're trying to get you what you want in life. And they're not being mean. They're not calling you every week and looking at your budget and judging you. They're not control freaks. You didn't bring up any relationship issues. These are not bad yeah. people. That is not what the point is. The point is you have $22,000 in debt and you have $28,000 or $26,000 or whatever it is in your account. Write a check today and pay it off. Mm-hmm. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah. If it was on a well, credit card, it'd be the exact same thing. That we'd say that was a stupid butt decision. You shouldn't have done that. Now clean it up. Yeah. It's you got the money there. Write a check. It's just it, it it just complicate. It makes the more drama to the conversation because it's the in laws. And think about it like this. You know, your life mm-hmm. has changed since you took that loan. Now you're staying home with a child. That's an income that's gone. You have to ask yourself, okay, if we keep this debt around, what happens if there's another major life change? What, what if your husband loses his job? What if he's laid off? Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of variables here that a lot of times we don't let our brain think about because it's not pleasant. 
But when you carry debt, you are holding risk. I don't care who it's to because Dave talked about mm-hmm. Thanksgiving dinner tasting different. It would taste a lot worse. Uh, and by the way, we're, we're not going to be at the two or $3,000 level in this, but for about 10 minutes right. in this account, because you're going to immediately start adding money to it, correct? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. We're, so how much would you add to it a month? To... How much would you add to it a month without about having these payments? 700 yeah, okay. about seven hundred a month. Okay, um, right. and he's he's expecting a bonus soon, and hopefully a, a promotion soon. Yeah, right. and a lot um, of that'll go to. So, so you're going to be like by September, you're going to be right back up where you need to be, right? Well, yeah, yeah. we're going to be down. We're going to be down at like, to like three thousand dollars. Yeah, after yeah. we pay it, yeah. and, and you got a bonus, gonna, and you got seven hundred bucks a time. month, well, and yeah, I, yeah that's seven hundred bucks a month if you don't have this payment, or currently seven hundred bucks a month. Um, if we don't have the payment, seven hundred dollars okay. a month. All right. Yeah, um, and it, it does freak them out because because we were doing we were following the baby steps when I was working, and I when when I found out I was pregnant, we were essentially just dumping money to to this loan to them, and it, it freaked them out. They were like, "Are what are you doing?" I'm not. You know, I, I I'm not concerned about them freaking out. That's yeah. their problem. If they didn't yeah. want you to repay it, they should have made it a gift. They shouldn't freak out. They ask you to pay them back. You're paying them back. Stop with the drama. Just write them a check. Pay them back. Be done with it. And please don't do this again. Terrible. It's just, I'm telling you guys, there's, the, the, I've, uh, in the 30 something years I've been doing this, some of the saddest stories are the ruined relationships because somebody did something like loan their kid. 25 or 30 or 50 thousand dollars to buy a house and then something goes sideways something gets out of hand and all of a sudden everybody's torqued up and twisted up and formerly nice sweet people aren't for some reason Mm. and i just it's bad y'all you're asking it's like if borrowing money on a credit card to do this is stupid just make it stupid times two Mm -hmm. to do it with your in-laws all right because you're just, and again, I'm not calling you stupid. I'm saying what you did was stupid. And because I don't call people stupid, except people in the financial world that tell you to do stupid things. <laughs> but the, uh, but you, you people that were trying to help, I'm not going to, our job to help you heal is to tell you the truth. You don't want the doctor to go, you know, I think this little bit of cancer is going to be okay. Why don't right. we just leave it there? Right. You want them to say, no, get it out. Get it stupid. Try sunscreen, boy. You know, I mean, seriously, mm-hmm, right? And mm-hmm. golly. So you want people to tell you the truth if they're going to be healers. And we're not going to hold back. We're going to tell you exactly what it is because we got a lot of people to help, and we love you, and we want you to win. And that includes Darlia in Fredericksburg, Fence, Virginia. But, Dave, there's so many people who they are sitting on savings while they've got debt sitting over there in the corner. And the, the thought is, I don't like the risk of not having savings, then but they don't entertain the, the other side of the equation, which is you must not care that much about risk because you've got debt sitting you've over here. Because you've already offset it. You know, your yeah. balance sheet still represents a broke person. That's right. The math has to math. You know, I don't want to I don't want to be down less than $10,000. Well, try not going into <laughs> debt and using up all your money then. Right. You know, that's uh, that is a good way to solve that. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. And by the way, you can pass up any housing deal. It's too good to pass up. No, it's not. Not if you can't afford it. No, it's not. You can pass up a deal on that Bentley, too, because you can't afford it. Help you with that. That Louis Vuitton, that $83,000 purse, you can pass that one up. You can pass it up if you can't afford it. It's too good a deal. No, you can pass it up. It's possible. I see people do it all the time. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.